Hey there, I'm wearing sunglasses and we're playing Elex. I'm the RNGS and uh, welcome back to Elex. In the last episode we explored a little bit right down here. We basically made our trip down here along the entirety of the coast. And then we fought a little bit in this uh, vicinity, and we got ourselves, uh, we got our hands on a new sword. I think it's this one. Yeah, this one. And um, we also got our hands on these damn cool sunglasses that allow us to see living things through walls, which is definitely a thing that sunglasses do. It does say uh, tem temporarily, but uh, I think we've worn them for a while now. And uh, the temporarily thing... Eh, I don't know... I mean, it's not worn off yet, so that's cool. We see people. We'll talk later, yeah? We'll talk. You're here for what? I'm not here for anything. I don't know what we're doing in this episode. Let's look at our quests. Me, 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 you're using tech. Me, 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 me. Big Bang not doing that. Clan trouble. One of Cormag's men is causing problems with the Eisen clan. His name is Elder. He works as a cultivator on the farms. If I want Cormag's trust, I should put an end to Elder's harassment of the Eisen clan. Let's just do that little thing to to start the episode. Um, uh, it's pretty late today, so uh, if I do anything stupid, say anything extremely stupid, it might be because uh, there's not so much fighting power left in me. So yeah, we're gonna talk to this guy. Uh, let's hope I don't off him. Ooh, there's an herb, I'll take that, it's glowing. Every glowing herb you should take. That's what I learned from watching The Simpsons. Elder. How the flying set of syphilitic raptor bags is one man supposed to guard? Can you not swear that much? What's got you so angry? Angry? Me? I've been ordered to stand here, balls swinging in the wind, with rot bores loose out there. You with albs crawling around in the underground. You are you are literally to in town right now. Oh yeah, why would I be upset? Because I can't think what I've done to be left here, so I can have my man jewels gnawed off by a pack of mutant canines. Mm. It's like they want this town to be overrun. These defenses look solid. You don't need to worry about those rot bores anymore. You don't need to worry about those rot bores anymore. They're dead. Dead? Oh, that's perfect. Now when their friends turn up, they're gonna be really pissed. You are not rock bars will eat anything. <sighs> I need anything. I need some damn backup. Alvar was supposed to be guarding the seedling field. But can you see him? No. Because that lazy duty skipping strip of an ass rag has disappeared. You couldn't go and find him, could you? If I'm gonna die, I might as well do it with comfort. Did you see the Albrader crash? Did you see the Albrader crash? Sure, I had a ringside seat here. Whoosh, blam, serves the bastard right. Flying around up there, raining shit on other people. Got some of his own shit back from someone, didn't he? Ah. And did you see who shot the raider down? No, someone went foom on the thing and down it went. Whatever happened, happened quick. Goes to show relying on technology is pure madness. <laughs> Nobody would get me in a one of those infernal machines at any rate. Machines are against nature. You see what comes of them when it crashes out of the sky. Yeah, yeah, blah, blah. Was it a berserker that shot the raider? How? They don't have tech. No, no way. If someone from here had done that, they'd have had a parade. And they'd never have stopped talking about it. No. Which does make you wonder who it could have been. What are seeds? What are they? They're world hearts. What are world hearts? Heart and soul of the berserkers they are. Magalan's very own mother's tit. Ah. Shove one of those in the soil and just watch the land around it grow. All this here was wasteland till the milk of mana came and changed it. You feed a seedling with mana and when it's mature, a world heart will clean out the elix and bring the ground to life. Elix poisons the ground? <laughs> elix poisons everything. 
But if we plant enough world hearts, we'll make the whole of Maglang green again. Unless those wretched albs bomb everything flat first. Hmm. What is mana? Magic, isn't it? Magic. But you want to know how it works? You'll have to ask Caldrum or someone. I just see the results. You must get questioned by newcomers a lot. You must get questioned by newcomers a lot. Iran is the only place magic exists outside of Zaykor. It's only natural that people wonder about it. I live with it every day. It's become normal to me. And you're the one working to make it happen. Yeah. Contrary to what everyone thinks, magic doesn't appear out of thin air. It takes work. Thanks. Sometimes it takes an outsider <laughs> to put things in perspective. Give me something. Ooh, 30 shards. Nice. I've heard you're causing trouble with the Eisen clan. Eldor, I've heard you're causing trouble with the Eisen clan. What about it? Do you have a problem with the Eisen clan? It's not me with the problem. <laughs> It's that self-important pinch dick Oren who has the problem. Hmm. He won't serve me or anyone else from the Hammer Clan. You want to do a 10-day stretch of guard duty and then find out you can't even get a beer at the end of it? Why won't Oren serve you? Has he only banned the Hammer Clan? Has he only banned the Hammer Clan? As far as I know, and selfish as it is, who cares if he's banned anyone else? I'm worried about my beer. What's all this got to do with you? Cormag doesn't want conflict between the clans. Well, someone needs to speak to Oren then. It's that self-important sack of ass grapes that is the problem. Stop squaring, Not squaring, me. dude. You get him to change his mind. And let the Hammer Clan back in the tavern. That will sort everything out. I'll find Albar. I was hoping you'd say that. You could start by asking Droke. He's probably on duty over at the <laughs> About works, that. It's Drogue. Those two are best buddies. They haven't seen each other in uh, in a long time. Drogue isn't at the city gate. Is anyone on duty today? Or is it just me defending this town? Alright, alright. You could try Orm. If Alvar's not on duty, there's a good chance he's sinking drinks in the <laughs> tavern. Even if Alvar's not there, Orm might know where he is. Orin, right? I found Alvar. Oh, great. And what excuse did he have for not turning up? A pretty good one. Dead. He's dead. Excuse me, what? I asked you to bring him here, not kill him. Well, I didn't. He managed it himself. He took a chem overdose. Mm. Asshole. Couldn't even take chem. <laughs> so you're not sympathetic then? The outlaw that sold Alvar the chem is dead. Do you know who sold Alvar the Chem? Do you know who sold Alvar the Chem? Me? I didn't even know where Alvar was. But I hope someone finds that drug-dealing stretch of raptor gut and puts him out of our misery. I'll have to risk it and go to Cormac myself. And hope I don't get exiled for abandoning my post while I do. Thanks for taking care of that. Good to know some fly-bitten wanderer I've never met before cares about me more than my own superiors. <laughs> Take this Alexit, and the humble thanks of the mighty warrior they left in charge of a whole sector. You'd better watch yourself. There are jackals here. No, they are not. Jackals are a thing of the desert. Uh, what was that? Excuse me? Ah... Cultivator's loaf is not alive, I see. It does not glow. Cultivator's loaf does not glow. Um, 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 um. Wanted to do something. Okay. I've got two yellow things on my map, so I'm going to follow this one. get over there oh there's a plant I'm not gonna I'm gonna harvest it just because I can just because it glows now that is very uh, convenient I have to say glowing plans hi you glow I'm not gonna destroy those chickens but uh, I should buy some arrows while I'm here 
because I used a few. Teach. Don't please don't teach me. I don't have learning points. Can we trade? Look Arrows. I only have eighteen left. Uh, no. Do not complete trade. I don't. I do not want this. Thanks. Uh, accept trade. Can't believe I can't believe I used up all my arrows. That's a bummer. Oren, you have info. Need some info. Need something to drink first. The Hammer Clan sent me. Ah, that's a shame. Boss just nice. Won't. Then open it. You're going to serve the Hammer Clan from now on. Am I? Strange. Here was me thinking I decided who gets served, and. I don't have any reasons why I should change my mind. You're all berserkers. You're all berserkers. Nice. If you fight amongst yourselves, you've lost. You might as well join the Alps. Are you calling me an Alp? <laughs> you want the Hammer Clan to fight for you and you won't serve them a drink? Who's the enemy? All right, all right. You've got a point. But I'll have to ask Engram. What does Engram have to do with it? He told me not to serve the Hammer Clan. <laughs> I think he was hoping some of them would, you know, shift over to the Ice and Clan. Mm. I think Cormac should know about that. I think that's got nothing to do with me. I'm just a tavern keeper. Hmm. All right, Oren. I, I mean, I guess. Nice fetch quest. I still have the charisma thing equipped, right? Otherwise, I wouldn't have passed that skill check. That is correct. Talk. That's all he's ever been. Never mind, let's not do the uh, the under the sea music from Kingdom Hearts. Let's not. We want to talk to Mr. Do down here. Tell him, oh, Oren told me, oh yeah, Angrib's fault. He's going to serve ha Hammer Clan, guys. And uh, yeah, we're done. Orin has lifted the ban on the Hammer Clan. Well, aren't you the smooth skinned charmer? How did you get him to lift that? Charisma 3. Well, I'm very persuasive. Yes. I'll bet. But however you did it, I'm thankful. Here, take this. Nice. A small token of thanks from the Hammer Clan. I don't care about the money, but by the way, I do care about the experience. Stop using that here. This is no place for technology. Experience is very nice. Very, very good. I love the bow on my back. It looks so good and it does damage. Ah, oh, damage though. Damage so good. Speaking of damage, you're attentive. I don't need that. I steal from you yet? Yep. Yeah. Steal from you yet? Yep. Yeah. Ah, boring. I'm not getting shot at, so that's good. I I did commit uh, theft right now, the a second ago though. Can I move up there? Yes, I can. That was easy. I need to go to Cormac, okay. This is where Angram lives. Why'd you do that? Why'd you do what you did? Heed the law. Meh. Boring. This right here is the mana dude. I should talk to him. But uh yeah, I I don't you know, I should talk to him. I'm going to talk to Cormac first. Because experience is always nice. And I'll see what he has to say after that. I don't want to be a berserker, but I did quests for everybody already, so... Mm. Thief! 
That was not good. That was not good. Didn't mean to take your dried meat. The game just has a thing for latency or something. I don't want to do that. I'm not actively trying to be a thief, but the game just... The game just really wants me to, for some bizarre reason. I wish that hadn't happened. I wish that hadn't happened. Okay, maybe I'm just... Maybe it's just too late for me to do things. Is that... Huh. Huh, what kind of manual is that? Manual. Elix must be transmuted at the shrine before it's fed to the seedlings. When transmutation is complete, each seedling must be fed mana continuously once the treatment has started. Each seedling must be fed the same amount of mana per day. Only the strongest seedlings are suitable for transplanting and terraforming. If a seedling is recognized as a potential world hard, it must be reported immediately. See. Cormac. Old world note. Seven. Ooh, 10 experience, nice. Let's sleep until morning because I just uh, took damage. And then sunglass about. Now we're gonna take the long way and I really wanna speak to Cormac. And I really don't wanna steal his dried meat. I didn't even care about his dried meat. You know just gonna teleport up here that is way easier than um, than I'm walking all the way up there turns out I'm pretty clever huh aren't I pretty damn clever okay let's talk to him we want to be clever so don't steal from the guy right in front of his face okay he's outside ah that's you hi mr. man the trouble between Elder and the Eisen Clan is over. The trouble between Elder and the Eisen Clan is over. So, Elder can drown his sorrows instead of shouting them around Goliath. How did you manage that? After a little chat, Orn agreed it was best for the clans to work together. A little chat, eh? Well, however you managed it, it's a relief. I was worried this would build into something bigger. Listen, Orn had better pull himself together, or I'll deal with him myself. Well, I should have had more faith. It seems people do believe in our cause. Nice. Angram was behind the trouble. Reveal Angram's participation. Do as you think best. Hide Angram's participation. Ha. Hiding Angram's participation would, on one hand, um, like put me in good faith with Angram. On the other hand, Doris won't like that, and uh, I don't like Angram, so we're gonna reveal that, and uh, you know, people like they are gonna just be more angry with each other. Angram was behind the trouble. He hoped that since the Hammer Clan wasn't being served, that he could lure people to join the Eisen Clan. You're sure of this? Orin told me himself. Then it seems I must speak with Ragnar, and we'll find a way to persuade Angram out of such tactics. We have enough trouble with the Alps without fighting amongst ourselves. Thank you for your service. Take this for payment. Ooh. And keep this matter between us. You keep this matter between us. Okay. Stop messing around with that thing. Stop messing around with that thing. Okay. What kind of quests do we have apart from these? Stuffing mouths. Hank has been waiting for an overdue supply caravan of food. That is Tavar. We want Edan. Elix supplies machine parts. Disappeared without a trace. Hmm. 
Stormson. I don't want to kill Stormson. And Stormson is nowhere to be found. So that's not happening, I don't think. Uh, apart from that, we might as well pick up some quests. Because I know for a fact that... Uh, doo -doo -doo, where's the shrine? Right down here, Mr. Shrine Keeper is gonna have a quest for me. There's... There is no way he doesn't have a quest for me. I just didn't bother talking to him. Kaldrim, what do you do here other than give free advice? What do you do here other than give free advice? As Amrik said, our hope for Magalan is that all Elix shall become mana. That from mana Magalan will be reborn. From wasteland shall spring forest, for we are the healers of the world. So, the workers bring the elix to us, and we transmute it at the mana shrine. Well, that is supposed to be what happens, but people don't seem able to stick to their tasks. How does mana help you cast magic? How does mana help you cast magic? Sunglasses are so that cool. We have yet to understand. Though we do study it, even now Thorold the Pilgrim has withdrawn from Elix to study its mysteries in the hope we can grow stronger. Those who cast magic will tell you that while the elves lose their emotions closing off their minds, mana opens the mind, connects you and the world. Hmm. Is mana addictive like Elix? Isn't mana addictive like Elix? It is the power of mana that is addictive not the substance itself. You can see that in Goliath. We don't need mana like the Alps have to have their elix. And we use a lot less. Most of the elix we find is given to our seed. Hmm. Mana puts our bodies and minds in harmony with the magic we use. For us, it is natural. The energy the Alps use in magic is torn from the world. It damages them and it damages the world. But they're really strong in terms of combat. So, how do you transform Elix? Transmute. We transmute Elix. We place the Elix in the mana shrine. There is something in this mountain. The way the rock was changed by the comet. As the Elix passes through, it is changed, purified into mana. If you bring anything that has been altered by Elix close to the shrine, you can feel it. I don't feel anything. Well, we all have different skills, Duras. I read Elix, you read people. One of us, but not one of you, hey, Kaldrum? <laughs> you say people aren't doing their tasks. You say people aren't doing their tasks. Yes, the biggest problem we have is temptation. Elix corrupts people as it does the planet. Last week, five large pieces of Elix disappeared that sounds... from the shrine before it could be transmuted. Oh, that sounds like me stealing them. At the same them. time as Kral, one of our guards. Ooh. Kral's due to kept his journal. So Kral stole the Elix? I think Kral is the thief. But thinking is uncertainty. The searches for him and the Elix have come up empty, and I have no idea why he would take the Elix. I can find Kral for you for price. Maybe. Where would I need to start looking for Kral? Maybe. Where would I need to start looking for Kral? Well, that is the question, isn't it? Uh. The guards tried Ragnar's stronghold at the top of Goliath. Kral spent a lot of time up there sitting out on the main balcony. He's a thinker. While the guards might have been there already, they aren't the best of investigators. Maybe you will have more fortune if you look there. Journal, will you trade me some mana for Elix? Will you trade me some mana for Elix? Gladly. <laughs> trade Elix for mana. Three times Elix. No. 
I'm not giving you three natural elix for one mana. I don't know what to do with mana. Uh, nice thing is, we know exactly where Kral's journal is, and now it's not just a random quest item for us. Now it is useful. Because I can just, uh, you know, warp over here. Kral's diary. No sign of the man. But let's see if he has left me a clue in here. Last entry. First the Elix devours him. Now it devours me. But I have no choice. Surely to steal is better than to kill. Hmm. If I don't act now, then death must follow. So, the choice is made, and we must both go into the mausoleum. Perhaps we can live in this house of the dead. <laughs> Either this guy is reading <laughs> teenage poetry, or I just found out where he went. I should tell Caldrum. Should you tell Caldrum? I'll tell Caldrum. I guess that's okay. Dude is just living down the mountain. Come on. Walk with me. This game. This guy. Don't walk against steps. Just fly down the mountain like a normal person. And then talk to the guy you just talked to. Who is not in today, which means I can steal all his shit. Thanks for the mana. Thanks for the mana. Thanks for the recipe. Thanks for the shit. Quick save until he comes back. Powerful mana potion. Sounds good. Mana. Sounds decent. Why not? Ooh, nice mana. Who would have thought? Patience is a virtue after all. He never left his house. Right until he did leave his house. Okay, what kind of recipe was that? What can I create now? Strong energy reserve, meh. Small mana potion, me. Scrap scanner. I don't know what that does. Use this to create a stim that temporarily makes normal items easier to see, me. Thick blood, me. Okay, I don't have anything good that is new. So, hi, Caldrum. Sorry for taking your five mana. Well, I found Kral's diary. Well, I found Kral's diary. Where did you find it? And does it tell you anything useful? By the balcony of Ragnar's stronghold. Kral wrote about a mausoleum outside of Goliath. Maybe he went there. Then he has picked the perfect place to hide. I don't know anyone who would go willing into that mausoleum to search for him. It is a place for the dead. And for me! If you tell me where it is. Very well. You will find the mausoleum in the area outside Goliath that is down below the pit, south, southeast towards the world heart. Tread carefully, though. People are telling stories of some sort of undead creature there. Not that I believe in such things myself. Hmm. Hmm. That does not sound nice. Just what will happen if we all begin to rely on machines? Elix for the mana shrine. Caldrum. Down there. There's a mausoleum? Really? I... I completely missed that then. Intriguing. Okay, we're gonna make our way towards that, but I'm not gonna finish that in this episode because uh, I've 
got something else to do today as well. And uh, yeah, we're not going to continue for much, much longer. I'm going to harvest all the plants because we can see living things, which is nice. Well, I'm not going to harvest that one. So I guess we just lied, huh? Zero falling damage is a fantastic part. Ooh, gold? No, probably sulfur. Ooh, gold! I'll take four gold nuggets. I'll take them. And that loot. Smells like, smells like loot. Ah, loot. Any more gold? No. That down there looks like the place where I fought. Um, oh, I only have like 60 arrows, huh? Looks like the place where I fought the... The... Uh, forlorn. Forlorn. The one forlorn. And there's another one forlorn. So we can save it here. I equi I'll equip the bow. And yep, that is a forlorn. Are you gonna attack me or... Nope. Duras is gonna shoot too. How nice of Duras, isn't it? Too bad I'm the only one doing damage. I'll shoot like 10 arrows. And then we'll see what kind of damage output Duras has. I'll go down to 50. Okay, we're at 50. He lost a lot of his health. So for every four arrows Duras shoots, I'll shoot one. Doris, please hit. I don't think he likes the situation he's in. Might as well switch. works. Game. Nice. Okay, we finished off that one for Lorne. Should have gone down first things first. I shot 20 Lexit at him. Oh, Cultivator's Loaf. Doris is following me. In a sec. And we're gonna head towards the thing. I don't know what those guys were protecting. I remember those guys being there because uh, last time I fought one of those, they ripped my ass to shreds, which was not that nice. Hey, biter. Runt. I'll get this one. A runt biter can't do a thing. What kind of staircase is up here? I don't remember this part. Ooh. That looks like a fantastic point to end the episode, actually. So, for the moment, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, this is going to be a little shorter, but that's okay. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope I'll see you in the next episode as well. Until then, toodles!